Bagley funeral, she will be loved and missed. And now I'm going to read from a poem called The Dash Poem by Linda Ellis. Copyright 1996. <laughs> I read of a man who stood to speak at a funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on her tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came the date of her birth and spoke of the following date with tears. But he said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represents all the time that she spent alive on earth. And now only those who loved her know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard and things you'd like to change. For you never know how much time is left that I that still can be arranged. If we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real and always try to understand the way other people feel and be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the, li love the people in our lives like we never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering that this special dash might only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read, with your life actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you spent your dash? Thank you. And now, I'm going to <coughs> say a speech about the Bobby Mac tonight. Still remember the day like it was yesterday. <coughs> I went to the pet store. And I got Sorrel, and then my dad thought she looked lonely, so the next day I went and got Nyla. And the reason why her name is Nyla is because my mom gets her nails done by this Chinese woman named Nyla, and I really liked her name. <laughs> <laughs> and so I named her Nyla. And then, you know, she was, okay. she was more active than Sorrel. Sorrel was really lazy and chubby and she was all skinny and active and she was more fun than Sorrel and she sadly I have to say was my favorite hamster and she she would always run around the cage and her favorite food was a was a, a sunflower seed I'd always watch her open it and then eat it, and it was just really cute. And I used to put her in her little ball, and she'd roll around. I remember one day Roxy got to it, and she made it roll everywhere. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was not a good time. <sighs> yeah. Well, and I also remember when Nicole would come over, and she would put Nylee down my shirt <laughs> and on my head. And good times. Well, thank you, and that's how I will always love and remember Miley. Bye, Nyla.